Well, thank you very much, and it's the Midwest Regional. Katina Mack of Penn State has just hit a three, and so a game that was at one time 9-2 is now a slim 9-7 Alabama advantage. And we've just seen the first personal foul on Yolanda Watkins, the Crimson Tide's big presence in the middle. And there's Katina Mack, Fran Harris, who just hit the three. And on top of that, she gets the tough defensive assignment tonight of trying to stop Nisa Johnson, the outstanding All-American point guard of Alabama. You're right. You see the versatility of Mack knocking down that three-point shot. And also, she's been the person on the offensive end that's taken the ball to the hole, not gotten the foul, but definitely put the pressure on Alabama to play some defense. Nisa's got the rebound nice long hand. down the nice court. Hand. Yolanda Watkins couldn't knock it down, and the Lions will run. This is Katina Mack. She thought about pulling up, but Johnson stopped her. Point guard Tina Nicholson distributing for Jackie Donovan. Alabama likes it up tempo, so does Penn State. And the dump down, we have a whistle and a foul. Appeared to be a three-second call in there on Missy Mosley. Alabama knocked off Oregon State out of the Pac-10, then took care of number 13, Iowa. And, of course, it was Betsy Harris having a big game there after Yo Watkins got it done in the first game. And despite eight turnovers, Nisa Johnson got it done in that big win over the defending champs of Texas Tech the other night. That right there is how Alabama has been so successful. They combine a tough, awesome inside game, as you see Watkins with the block with the tremendous outside shooting of Harris, Johnson, and Thompson. See Nicholson with the pull here, but Watson says, uh-uh, not in here, baby. <laughs> she blocked 58 shots during the regular season. And then the travel. Penn State with the turnover, so Bama with a five-point lead. And to set the clock for you, we're five minutes and 39 seconds into the game. Carla Kuntz in for Alabama. So is Sharana Alexander. Yolanda Watkins has taken a seat. So they get a little bit smaller, but a little quicker. <laughs> and those long rangers like to bomb from anywhere. Oh, Good patience underneath. Marlene Stevenson, and that's her third field goal. She only had three against Texas Tech the other night, and now she has six points already. But Alabama gets so much from their bench as we hear from Holloway for the first time tonight. Helen Holloway has been their star in the tournament. The senior out of Norfolk is averaging 20 points and 10 rebounds a game in the tournament. So it's 14-10 Alabama. Lisa Johnson on the drive and a bit of a push by Katina Mack. You talk about the, the versatility of all of the Penn State players. You see Holloway predominantly an inside player taking a three-point shot. Not just taking the shot, but knocking the shot down. Ellen Holloway, after that three, will get a breather. Carla Coleman and Kim, Kim Calhoun, guard and center, respectively, checking in. And you don't want to shoot anywhere around Kim. She doesn't start, but she has 74 blocks on the year. And she even got outside to adjust that three-point air ball. <laughs> well, Sharana Alexander wanted to wish her sister, who got married today, to say hello to her sister. And uh, that three ball was for her. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State, the number one seed in the Midwest, knocked off Fordham at home. A game that was closer than the final score, Kansas, they beat them by 17, but it wasn't until the last five minutes. And then they knocked off Seton Hall. And that Seton Hall game, when they won by four, was their only real close verdict they had had since way back in the regular season. They've been blowing some people out lately. But you see, the one constant on all of those games was Helen Holloway, who's just had an outstanding uh, NCAA tournament. jump shot. Harris on the right side for Carla Kuntz. Betsy Harris strapping for that offensive rebound and Alabama will have the ball. And one of the things Alabama's Moody, Coach Moody says is that he likes Alabama to take the first good shot, first good look they get at the basket. Well, Even that, if that's a three-pointer. That should not happen on an inbounds play. Marlene Stevenson wiggling loose and she is already 
an eight-point scorer tonight. At the other end, good transition, and that's Katina Mack. What a pace. What a pace. These two teams. Right, we, need, we, we might need a timeout. <laughs> 18-14, Alabama. Bama's been playing some matchup zone lately, which has helped them defensively, but you also have to think it helps them because they gotta be tired the way they run all night long. Well, they shovel in, they play 12, 14 players each game, and that's exactly why they have to get those quality minutes from the bench. They play so many people, the pace they, pay, they play, it's impossible to play five or six players for 40 minutes all season. Gerana Alexander on the foul. We're at the home of the Texas Longhorns, men and women. My partner played on this floor quite a bit, Fran Harris. We're in Austin, Texas at the Irwin Center for the Midwest Regional Final, matching up top seed Penn State, number six, Alabama, and the top seed got one finally down to Missy Mosley, and that's the first points she has scored tonight. Knocking oh, down the threes, Betsy replay. Harris. Tina Nicholson at the other end. I'll tell you what, these two teams don't mind putting up the ball. Well, Carla Coleman has some explosive moves to the basket. There she shows you some of hers defensively. Can she hit? Oh. Oh, the and that'll be an offensive foul. Gutsy move, gutsy call. I mean, here is vintage Alabama. Make a long pass, a baseball pass. First good look at the basket is the three-pointer by Harris. That's a great shot for her to take. And that's a big shot for Bama because Betsy's known as a shooter who can be either way on or way off. And when she hits a couple early, that's a good sign for the rest of the night. Senior out of Decatur, Mississippi. Only two officials, of course, in women's college basketball, Dee Kentner and Eric Larson on the floor tonight. And Alabama will bring it up. Their point guard is Madonna Thompson. She and Nisa Johnson actually are interchangeable at the one and two guard spots. Now that Johnson's out of the ball game, it'll be interesting to see how well Alabama does on the offensive end of the floor. Let's see Harris with penetration, and she drew the blocking foul on Carla Coleman. Well, this is the third of four on ESPN today and tonight. Two of the pieces of the puzzle are in there, three here, and then Stanford and Purdue at midnight Eastern time. Stanford 11th in the nation, Purdue number eight. And that comes to you from the West Regional at midnight Eastern time later this evening. Purdue, by the way, the number one seat in that regional, and Stanford is the number two seat. So the top dogs have gotten through there. And Betsy Harris here in Austin now has seven. She's got them both, and she's headed for another outstanding tournament game. Eight minutes, 16 seconds in. Bama, seven-point lead. I like the philosophy. If you got a great three-point shooter out there, crank the ball, knock the ball down with the ease of a layup. Uh, Penn State, their long-range shooting not to be forgotten either. And on the long rebound, Katina Mack has it. Tina Nicholson will swing it in the corner. Donovan, and she rattles one home, and that's a three for Jackie. The senior out of Stratford, New Jersey, she's had a great career in State College. i tell you, the similarities between these two teams are endless. I think Penn State pretty much has the same philosophy about taking field goals. They like to take that open shot. You got Donovan knocking down the last three-pointer. She's the player who can take that shot and make that shot. And, uh, oh, yeah, another block for Kim Calhoun. <laughs> 74 on the year, and she seldom ever starts. Harris penetrating, kicks it for Madonna Thompson. Entry pass. Oh, Forget oh. it. There's another one. <laughs> and she didn't even jump on that one. Sharana Alexander, all 5'10 of her, stuffed big time. That's a great feed inside from Thompson. Alexander goes up over the outstretched arms of Calhoun and gets nothing. Alabama, with only three on the shot clock, had to force one quickly. 
And so Penn State has it back. And uh, Madonna Thompson got there a little bit late and fouled Helen Holloway. That'll be two on Madonna. Helen uh, Holloway probably didn't feel Thompson running into her. And the only negative for Bama so far, off to the good start. That's now their sixth team foul. There's Donovan oh. again. Thought we might get a whistle there on the three-point shot. And Sharana Alexander came jumping out at her. No foul called, and the ball wouldn't fall either. Rini Portland, 14th year at Penn State, Big Ten Coach of the Year. She was the National Coach of the Year last year and in 91. And one thing's for certain, she's got the seven pennies in her left shoe tonight. Her son, who's here at the game tonight, gives her pennies for good luck. She's a right foot stomper, she says, when she's not happy with a call. <laughs> so the pennies go in the left foot. You can't complain about the great success she's had this year and throughout her outstanding career. And at one time, obviously, had 18 pennies in that left foot. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's got to be uncomfortable. Congratulations on that honor. It's 325 wins for her at Penn State. 412 overall. And there's another three. Betsy Harris again. But look at this Alabama team operate without Johnson. That shows you how deep, how balanced, how effective they are as a team. Donovan hacked on the back door. And Betsy Harris knows it. It was one of those weird plays when the shot coming from the corner really didn't touch anything. And Betsy just came over the back for her first personal. Jackie Donovan at the line. One thing you don't want to do all night is foul this Penn State team. Yolanda Watkins is coming back in. And with her was number four, Consuelo Daniels. Well, Donovan's a player who could explode for a lot of points. Had 22, season high being 22 points. Jackie Donovan leads the Lady Lions at 83% from the free throw line. I've done a lot of games around the country this year, Fran. I haven't seen any starting lineup with everybody shooting at least 75. That is outstanding. And as you mentioned, not a team under any circumstances that you want to put on the line. They have scored 20 points from the free throw line this year 13 times. And if you ask Clemson, they'll say, forget it. They have 40 <laughs> against Clemson. <laughs> Alabama by five now. We're beyond the midway point, first half. Look at him crank it. Look at him crank it. Harris a little short. Rebound in the outlet. The Lady Lions will run with Jackie Donovan running away. And she rattles another one home. That's eight for Jackie. And from the right side, Carla Kuntz. Folks, forget about the shot clock. <laughs> we'll be 